Hey guys, Todd Odell here with Engine.com. In this video, I will be going over how to use and set up the Engine Bucket Donation Plugin and Shopping Module for your Engine website and Minecraft server. If you're not familiar with us, then you should head over to Engine.com and find out why over 60,000 Minecraft servers use and depend on the Engine platform every single day. Now, before we get started, I will quickly explain how your shopping module works with our plugin. Engine's Nation and Shopping System enables you to sell any in-game item, as well as Membership 2 plus Permissions ranks on your server and website. When a user makes a purchase on your website, the plugin will allow you to run a command on your server automatically. You can sell goods via PayPal, 2 checkout, and 1Bith. You can set up coupons, payment terms, custom email notifications, and a lot more. Best of all, your shop is fully automatic and integrates with your engine website for a truly seamless experience for your users. Okay, let's get you started on setting everything up. The first things you need to make sure of are that you have both an engine website and the engine Minecraft plugin installed on your server. If you don't have those two things done yet, bookmark this video for now and check out our plugin video or just head over to engine.com and create a new website. Once you're done with those two things, you can watch the rest of this tutorial. So once you have the plugin installed successfully and an engine website created, you'll want to set up the donation shop module to work with your Minecraft server. Head to your shopping module on your site admin and you will see six tabs. These are create items, shop settings, purchase log, payment terms, discount coupons, and notifications. Let's start with the shop settings tab first. If you have more than one Minecraft server, make sure that you select the correct one from the select server dropdown list. Otherwise, the module will default to your first server. The second drop-down in this page allows you to set whether you want users to permanently add their Minecraft character to their website profile. This is great as it avoids situations where you would be asking them again for any future purchases. Please note that if you want to run commands on item purchases, you must select either the first or second option from the choices. The shop name field will set the name of the store as it appears on whatever page or pages your shop is located on. The Shop Currency drop-down sets the type of currency your shop will accept. By default, it will be USD, United States Dollars. Next, you will need to choose which payment gateways you accept payment through. For this video, I will be sticking with PayPal. However, you can enable all three systems, PayPal, 2Checkout, and 1Bip, for a single store. Please be aware that you need to have an account with these systems if you wish to accept payment through them. Click Save Changes once everything is set up correctly here. Now that you have finalized your basic shop settings, you can begin by adding your first buyable item. Click on the Create Items tab in your module page. You can then click on the Empty Item box to open the Creation Wizard for a new entry. You will see two tabs here, Item Details and Minecraft Commands. Let's start with the former of the two, Item Details. The first three fields in the wizard are self-explanatory. The Name field determines the title of the shop item, while the description allows you to explain what users are actually purchasing. The third lets you set the item price. Please note that you can use decimals, such as for dollars and cents. An example will be $9.99. In most cases, you want to keep the Request Custom Text Input box checked off, unless you want to gather some unique information from the buyer. An example question would be something like, who referred you to our website? Below this text input are three permissions dropdowns. You want to leave who can view this item as all unless you're setting up specific rank upgrades or only want certain members of your community to see this item. On the right side of this wizard, you can set the shop item image. Our advice is that you create nice, colorful images which will attract your users while also visually describing the items they are purchasing. Click Upload Image to add your own image. The recommended dimensions for images are 200 by 200 pixels width and height. The other two items are, after purchase add these tags to users, and after purchase remove these tags from users. These allow you to sell website ranks to your users in the form of user tags. If you didn't know already, you can sync your website ranks with your server ranks. Please check out our Minecraft Tag Sync video to learn more about this process. Leave both of these blank if you just want to run commands on the user. The final input allows you to set an expiration timer on any user tag applied to this shop purchase if, for instance, you want users to have a specific tag only temporarily. If you don't know what this means, then leave this blank for now and head to the Minecraft Commands tab. This is where you set up your Minecraft commands, which will be executed right after a user successfully buys an item. As an example, let's make this purchase give users 5 diamonds and the group level Warrior. 
Let's also create an expiration date for the rank, which will remove the user from the warrior group one month after they buy this item. You can set the number of days till the expiration is executed, so I'll place 30 here. Depending on what commands this item will run, you may need to check the tick box labeled Require User to be Online for Commands to Execute. Make sure that you check with the plugins and plugin commands you're using to see if this is necessary. We're all done here now. You can go ahead and click on the Save Changes button to finalize your settings for this item. Before we do a test buy on the item, let's quickly go over some of the extra features on the engine donation system. Payment Terms this page will allow you to create a sort of license agreement between your shop and any user that makes a purchase from it. Make sure that the checkbox in the top left corner is filled if you want to guarantee that your users agree to these terms before making a purchase. Let's move on to adding a coupon code to your shop. These are an excellent way for you to run promotions and sales. Click on the Create Coupon button to open the Coupon Creation Wizard. The coupon code field is fairly self-explanatory. Whatever is in it determines the code the users have to type into your module to take advantage of the discount. The start and end date fields let you set the range of time users will have to use this coupon. This is useful if, for instance, you are running a sale during a holiday. The discount type dropdown provides the option of whether the coupon will subtract a flat rate or a percentage from the purchase. If you want to test your module's connection to your server, you can create a coupon with a 100% discount, then use the code to buy any item. Finally, the Uses Allowed drop-down list contains various entries which let you limit the amount of times your coupon can be used. If you so choose, you can also make the uses unlimited. Discount coupons are hidden from your members. In order for your members to use the coupons, you will need to share the codes with them in any way you see fit. Now that we have figured out adding coupons, let's look at the process for creating notifications on your shop. Here, you can create the email or private message the user will receive after making a purchase. Notifications are really flexible. You can even have the system send you a notification whenever someone buys an item or donates to your server. Notifications are smart and can use variables. These are the words and phrases you see contained with embraces in the default notifications. For example, the user underscore name variable will automatically convert into the username of whoever bought the item in the message. A full list of these variables will be included in the video description. Now that we have the module all set up, let's test it out by buying an item. For this video, we'll be purchasing the test item that we added to our shop earlier. The coupon code we created was a 100% off coupon, so we can conduct this test with no fear of charging ourselves actual money. Voila! We've just successfully purchased an item on the shop. We can confirm this on the purchase log, back at the admin window for the shopping system module. This log tracks all activities on the shop, including all purchases and information related to orders, such as coupon use. And, of course, the buyer will have access to everything they paid for. You can see here that this Minecraft character, synchronized with an engine account, was promoted in-game and awarded several diamonds after buying the test item from the website. The reach of the shopping system doesn't just stop with the one module, however. We have two other modules, Latest Purchases and Shopping Graphs which you can add anywhere on your website to showcase your users' donations and purchasing activities. So, what are you waiting for? The shopping module has tons of potential. You only have to give it a try to see how powerful it can be for your community and your website. Be sure to check out our other Minecraft videos. We think you'll see that Engine can truly provide everything you need for a successful server community. As always, thanks for watching.